Hello anyone who is watching now or later, Hillian here along with Lucky or And welcome to Something Sunday for the 30th time. <laughs> and yeah, today we'll be starting off with a game called Niflheim. We've gotten out of the M games, or at least the M games that I wanted to show off or try out. There's of course a bunch of in there that as well that uh, might be up for let's streaming sometime, but yeah, I think everyone has seen enough of Mass Effect and such. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, Mass Effect is only a bit uh, extremely mainstream that you don't need to play that, really. Yeah. Though I will be playing the Legendary Edition on my own time eventually. So for now, let's actually have a look at what this game is all about. Okay, good step first off. Save slots. And wait. Mount world creation, mountain terrain with rocks and ice as far as the eye can see, covered with cold mist. The land is rich with small animals which attract wolves and other predators in great numbers. One at wolf forest, harsh dark woods covered with snow and ice, wild animals roam this land, rich with sweet berries and mushrooms. More of the desert eagle, deadly swamps covered with uh, thick fog where birds hide from ambushing predators. I don't think you'll find desert birds in swamps much. And the Ice Dragon Wasteland. Desert land surrounded by mount with mountain peaks, high dry grass harbors large uh, predators and their numerous prey. I'm getting a bit of the feeling that this is easy, normal, hard and very hard then. So let's try check out the One-Eyed Wolf Forest. And add opponent. Uh, okay, I have no idea what that is about. We'll see then. Character selection. Viking, Valkyrie, Berserker, or Shaman. Experience okay, yeah, fighter. This, hmm? uh, this is new. For when I saw this game first time years ago, they only had one uh, character. Okay. Let's see. Experienced fighter hardened by countless sea expeditions. He stands firm on a healing deck under a cloud of arrows. And in melee combat, he relies on his weapons and finds his way out of any situation. Bonus to bleeding and stun resistance, low metabolism, sedity is depleted slowly, decent damage. Valkyrie is the daughter of a legendary warrior who has dedicated her life to fighting. Her sisters and aunts become her family, priestesses and prophetesses and instruct her in forbidden secrets. Very slow, slowest of them all I'm guessing, decent defense, bonus to poison and burning resistance, low damage. Uh, relying on his great divine patron Odin, the Berserker is strong beyond measure, fearless, and strikes terror in the hearts of his enemies. The price for this is high. He is an outcast from society, warmed only by fierce battle, living in constant anticipation of a fight. Bonus to bleeding and poison resistance, fast metabolism, great damage. Then we have the Shaman. He set out on a campaign for fame and fortune, but not on a drakkar with a loyal squad. His allies are ancient spirits and elementals. And not very, you know, not every Asgard dweller dare set foot on the paths he will. Bonus to all damage, great defense, enhanced metabolism, so it is fast, and lowest damage. Hmm. Then we have stats of them all, with the Valkyrie being the least in the health department, but the highest in the food. I'm guessing the I'm guessing the helmet stands for defense. And, uh, yeah, the fist for attack. Let's go with the Viking. I, yeah, I thought it was this was a 2D RPG game, but apparently there's more to it. Okay. Also, it is also a bit survival. Let's see. None of resources. Okay, it is very well drawn and such. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the music is... What the heck the music fits so well into this game? We have bees up there. 
the bees that are not too impressed with us. Uh, okay, so we move by clicking, or we, we can move by clicking. How do I attack them? Uh, okay, with R we can swap between our weapons, but I don't see how we can attack. Uh, there's a tutorial, okay. Controls, first step, A and D to move around. To eat to interact. Q to pick up items lying beside you. E to chop down and okay. Fight. F to attack the nearest target. The target between range and attack. C to take defensive stand. Okay. Try not to die too often. <laughs> uh, proper dice is first level priority. Ultimatums. The lands of Niflheim are inhabited by death priests, the servants of hell. They are an irritating bind, <laughs> they can be dangerous, and from time to time they will send you the mats. Uh, so if that wasn't enough, there is the witch who requires sacrifices. Willing to meet an ultimatum will cause you a great deal of trouble. Be sure to study its requirements and take it seriously. Failing your task and skeletons will swarm your castle or the witch will cause drought upon your lands. Stay away from the lands affected by drought if you want to stay healthy. The curse will last a few days. Okay, so it's a bit of a... The game is actually more like a 2D Valheim-ish. Yeah. It's older than Valheim. Valheim is extremely old due to it has other names that has been in concept work in for years. On a it's a Dio and such. Okay. But it's uh, yeah. It is interesting. And we'll we'll give this game some time. Uh Though I don't think it'll be much for streaming. And the music seems to have died out. Yeah. I could say this is one of the games that more suited for YouTube. Since, well, yeah, then you just cut out the boring part. Yeah. Like uh, how we could go with uh, Moonlighter, since that is going to have a lot of downtime in between. Uh, the dungeon runs with the uh, well <clears throat> with uh, the selling mechanic yeah <laughs> the heck is that that keeps running away from us here is that a pheasant or something I have I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not good with uh, identifying birds Okay, come on, just check it. Well, hello, that's that looks cool. A dungeon. A, a bit odd that the, the audio died down. Hmm. Yeah, probably right now it's lagging a lot again. Okay, not going to try going into a dungeon just yet. And let's just continue deforestating the, uh, deforesting the entire area. A woodcutter quest. The mistress of the dead lands has turned her gaze on you, warrior. Bring her joy with new victory. Collect three timber and we shall reward you greatly. Okay, and we're going to copper axe for that. Hmm. Okay, we should have plenty of timber for that, but... Uh, on thrown it. Okay. <laughs> the heck is that? Oh, if we so sit she... down, we heal faster. <laughs> I don't know why he's going at it with his feet when he has a club. Let's just grab as much stuff as we can. What is this place? Niflheim. Witch's Burrow. Okay. And here we can craft... <laughs> here we can craft beer. Okay, why not? <laughs> okay, okay, what oh, is the first... I thought it was an icon of a honey and a bee. 
Let's see, what can we craft here? That's the kitchen. Okay. Bit odd that all of this is so spread out. That's a lot of skulls in the old material at that dungeon. I, I'm trying to remember Niflheim here a bit. I need to stop in my old religion a bit more. <laughs> can upgrade to a castle. And uh, oh, hello there. Oh, I mean hello, brave Yoria. My name is Hoog, and I've got some advice for you. First off, don't be depressed. The foggy banks of Asgard need you more than the halls of Valhalla. And secondly, even after death, you shouldn't ignore your health. These little partridges are a great source of protein, and the same goes for their eggs. Mm, tasty. I wouldn't mind having a few of those eggs myself, if you know what I mean. And we'll get a chicken for that. Okay. So we chicken. Okay, this looks proper like the mines, okay. We don't have enough to make a chest. What is this here? Sawmill. We need more twigs and stone. Stop. Right oh, hello. Yes, we're taking that. Or it's expected. We need eight stone then. And the heck kind of... Why is there a mechanism here already? And again, there is a lot of things here already. I'm guessing these will be for bosses or... I oh, know, just for our normal beasts. Okay. Okay, Go this back. game looks... Yep, welcome back. This game looks good, but probably isn't going to be any interest for streaming. Or for, for too long, at least. Kitchen. Okay, this we can build. Now, how did he make that out of wood? Let's see. Rabbit hides. Oh, okay, this is a quest. Mistress of the Dead lands us turn her gaze on you, warrior, bring her to, to, to rabbit hide. Okay, so we need to find rabbits. Mistress of the Dead. I'm talking about hell. Yep, priestesses, but. Yeah, they could be talking about Priestesses of Hell. With uh, H-E-1-L, that is. Yes, we're talking about the Goddess Hell, not... Yeah. yeah. Oh. So... I guess we know where the previous occupant went. Uh, uh, they're holding something? Let's see. Don't trust the priest. Find our greatest fear in the dungeons. They are not who they pretend to be. Brace yourself, they are coming for you. Okay. A lot of chests that we can build around here. Also, I found an iron sword in, uh, the, yeah, in the vault that we apparently have. Uh, inventory. Oh, and we have weapon degradation, because of course. Let's see, crude pick, crude pick. Crude axe, copper axe. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's give this game at least 50 minutes and then move on to another. Yeah, what is. As well, something about the Discord's new feature seems to make the streams lag a bit more, and that annoys me. Sure, one thing I used to have the, the pixelation blur, fine. But having slight of that end lag, it's kind of worse. Yeah, we, re we really should look into some sort of streaming program or screen sharing program. Yeah, do, however, do remember, I don't have a very great uh, broadband either, but we all seem to, in this entire that building, be able to upgrade it. So, yeah, hopefully that should solve bottom problems. If not, then blow the heck is Yeah. And let's 
there, there was rabbits on the other end, but let's keep checking here for anything. A cabbage, okay. And ca carrots. Building stone, mushroom. Let's see. D dungeons again. Okay. Not sure if there's really... A, there's probably a set time limit for those quests that the priestesses have, for the priests. Yeah, but I'm not I... seeing where there, there might be a timer. Yeah, mm. well, we don't think it's like up there. Yeah, it could be that it's a 24-hour thing. And... Okay. All of you just sit tight. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, we deal only 15 damage at the moment I th on the previous cut, and so let's not risk like 400 HP worth of enemies. And this might be a big item. mistake. Okay, that just barely. Uh, which? Oh, oh, okay, nice. You actually move slower when you're hurt. Makes sense. Move to the main map. Okay. Oh, so this is how we move to different regions. And this is where that uh, that NPC started. Here's are the other... Okay, so I'm not guessing it's not actually difficulty. Or it might be a bit more difficult start. I'm guessing... I'm guessing this game is supposed... Um, I'm guessing this game is supposed to be a bit of a race between all of the... Uh, no. A, ra a sort of race between uh, up to four players. Hmm. So, to see who can get to the middle as the fastest or, or something. That's just a guess, though. And yeah, if we're going to be moving this slow, we really should avoid getting hurt this bad. But yeah, let's let's park ourselves and then uh, call it on this game. This probably would be a lot more interesting if we did multiplayer with it. Even then, it probably. Yeah, it wouldn't be a direct PvP or cooperative thing, probably. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, it looks nice at all, but there is something about it. Yeah, we, ha we have enough survival these games to play, and, well... Hmm. As yeah, nice as it looks, 3D games tend to be more fun when it comes to uh, com com well, competition like that. Yeah, and we have been playing Valheim a bit on the side again. Yeah. So, yeah, the, yeah, the like Valheim does a lot of things better, but I mean, we, we also don't understand fully this game either. Yeah, it has the tutorial up there, but you'd think it would introduce you, to, it would start you off with that. Bosses. Don't enter if in doubt. Dungeons run with bosses. Every time you defeat a boss, there's a chance you get a fragment of the portal to Asgard. When bosses drop fragments of a portal, they become stronger and more vicious. But bosses also guard other treasures that will come as a pleasant bonus after the battle. You should be well prepared, equip your best armor. To the aim of the game. Okay. Every Viking follows the only path there is, the path to Asgard. Even though you have been taken to Niflheim, that doesn't mean your goal has changed. The portal to Asgard is your only chance to get there and fulfill Odin's will. Bosses guard the fragments day and night, sometimes, but not always, you will get the next fragment after defeating a boss. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so basically, it's a survive... They will better stuff, go into the dungeons, and uh, yeah, kill bosses for a chance to get a, a portal a shard, and then move on to the next boss once you've got that. It could be fun, but not for streams where a lot of this time would be spent just like sitting in a chair. 
Yeah, this game is one of those that you would wanna edit a lot on. Yeah. Okay. Save and exit. I might play this on the side on my own, but yeah, for streaming it's a no. Yeah, so and the office it's a slow. Yeah. Sure. So let's move on to the second I have game. A slow stop as well, sort of. But the slowness in some other games can be very bad or good in some cases, depending on how it's implemented. Okay, moving on to the second game, which should get caught by OBS any second now. It did earlier when I tested. There we go. Okay. It takes a bit to load in on the start for some reason. And I should move this one forwards. So, yeah, this game, this game is a, this game is Neo, which started on the PlayStation, I believe, and of course eventually got ported to PC and other stuff. Actually, I think only to PC. I don't think the Xbox has this. And yeah, as with any console game that's been ported, it's a good idea to see, yeah, to give the controller a try. Uh, yeah, Team Ninja, the same people as Ninja Gaiden. Okay, that was cool. I can't say I missed a lot due to the lag. Uh, yeah, this game. Uh, I know there's a sequel. I think I actually have it on the shelf here because. Uh... Hmm, let me check. Got it here for a PlayStation. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Uh, like, supposedly it's sort of a yeah, Dark Souls, but set in Japan. And yeah, uh, uh, not as hard as I believe, but act actually I think a lot of these third person action uh, RPG games are getting called Dark Souls like these days. Yeah, I think that's uh, correct. And it's not responding to like... Okay, there we go. It, it's, it's just odd sometimes with controller uh, controls that it doesn't respond to the joystick or the... I forget what it's actually supposed to be. But it does respond to the buttons next to it. Let's double check here whilst those two are being little idiots. Yeah, uh, let's try something. You said uh, that uh, since the Windows being being acting iffy, that many things being reset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that mean that also your screen quality have been reset? I don't think so. It, it's mostly been my camera, which 
For some reason, OBS loses connection, which so I have to pull, uh, plug it back in again, or pull it out, plug it back in, and then uh, select it again in OBS. I'll take a quick okay. little check here in my output. Let's see, streaming, preset, max quality, 2080 by 72, recording, uh, should be set to the same. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this has changed. The what the heck? The heck is this psycho visual tuning? Enables encoder settings that optimize the use of bitrate for increased perceived visual quality, especially in situations with high motions, at the cost of increased GPU. Okay. Nothing seems to be maxing out or anything on the task manager here though, so I'm guessing that's not the case at the moment. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to double check some things. But I don't think things are coming out any different. And something fell down the stairs there. Okay, back to the game. Yeah, that's and, good. Yeah. Start off a new game, of course. The Far East lights in Pangu. The land bringing with golden palaces and sparkling jewels. Kublai Khan, ruler of the Mongol Empire, sent a large army there. But the warriors of Zipangu used miraculous stones to put up a strong defense. Travels of Marco Polo, chapter 6, pages 175, 4-75. Amrita. Some call it a miraculous stone. The Philosopher's Stone. The Queen of England remains locked in combat. With Spain. Country where the sun never sets for control of the entire world. Her forces weakening with every battle. The queen and her inner circle turn to divination and alchemy, hiring pirates like us to find Enrita for them. With that power, they managed to defeat the invincible Spanish Armada. Well, that doesn't look evil at all. <laughs> not at all. I did not expect it to be a part of historical events. The Tower of London is an imposing fortress built by King William I in order to keep London safe. It has since gone on to be used as a prison for traitors and, and execution grounds for criminals. Londoners believe that if the many crows living within its walls were to abandon it, the tower would collapse and London itself would be destroyed. Yeah, of, of course it's not going for historical accuracy, but uh, it's always interesting to see what people play with once they, well, they take history and shove some mystical stuff in there to see how things get out of control. True, and I cannot okay with that. Yeah. Depending how we start, of course. I knew the main character wasn't Asian guy himself, but I didn't think we'd start off in the freaking dungeons of the London Tower. Same. More like some uh, the last samurai wash stop on the shores of Japan shit or something. And hello, uh, stock uh, mystical sound. <laughs> It seems death won't stop chasing me. Fifteen ninety-eight. 
Okay, it's a big-ass scar across his back. Entry added to Amrita Memories. And that's a pretty obvious hole there. Well, that's going to be a stealthy escape. <laughs> pretty sure that should have been her throughout the dungeon. I should have run when I had the chance. Nope. Can we close this door? No, we can't. Uh, need that, whatever is in there. And... Uh, oh. <laughs> Not stop. Uh, okay, give... I have... Okay, come on. If you're going to talk about weapons, at least give me one. Unless you need to be Okay, uh, equipment. Come on, you really did, gave me nothing. Oh, be that's because it dropped it all on the fucking floor instead of in our inventory. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as uh, could be expected from someone <laughs> without armor getting stabbed in the back with a freaking sword. Yeah, Can we I think, somewhat try to sneak? Yeah, I feel like yes. both of us were hopefully expecting uh, something like, uh, yeah, all the loot. Foot guards. Okay, so we stole this guy's second pair of uh, shoes. Yeah, that's a very brutal past on someone. Okay. Yeah, it looks a lot more like a two-hander. Well, okay. if I remember right, two bottle swords were meant to be you used for either one-handed or four-handed. Two-handed okay. name. Okay. Well, a lot of ones yeah. were supposed to be always two-handed, but yeah, many people do mistakes and make long swords as the one-handers. I think this thing is almost as tall as he is. Yeah, it, yeah, he's a bit more like a long sword than a bastard sword. Okay. Here, medicine, item shortcuts. Okay. Okay, I don't think this would be <laughs> tolerated even back then. They just have the main gate blocked off like that. Yep, always check underneath the stairs. And a coat. Okay. On the one hand... Okay, that's a bit uh, ornate. On the one hand, I have to say that I do like it when some games don't pause the game when you're in a menu, because then... Well, it's you can see it in the difference between... Uh, Fallout 4 and Fallout 4 VR. When you're playing it in VR, you well, you can't just stop the game to chuck down like an entire <laughs> barbecue's worth of uh, mushrooms to heal up. Okay. Oh. Give me your silly hat. Or, okay. Let's see. We want to get over here, by the way. Hmm? What year is this? Uh, 1598, so the 16th century. Okay. Okay, we can sneak a bit by just walking slowly. That guy has a bow and. That guy caught sight of us sooner than I thought. Oh, <laughs> some actual pants. But yeah, by not allowing you to pause the game, you put on a lot more pressure onto a player to uh, well, strategize. You have a you have less of a safety net to fall back on. 
Yeah, that's damn true. Yeah. And of course. We have limited stamina. We should probably take some medicine. Let's see. Yeah, simple rock that's a perfect size for throwing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might as well. Now we have the stones up top and medicine there. Okay, 484. A good amount. Let's see. Hello. And the hello again, Death Sprite or whatever you are. Ray. Oh, I think, I think these are bonfires. So we kind of wasted that medicine. Why well, I'm not surprised. First, let's check if this these stairs go anywhere else. Always check the bottom and the top of stairs for any hidden loot. Like his. There's only a limited amount of Aprita we can extract from this country, Kelly. Indeed, the pirates have served their purpose. The death of the leader of Japan will spark a war and a wonderful opportunity to acquire more Aprita. Once tomorrow's execution takes place, we will get our hands on a compass that will lead us to that Amrita. With enough Amrita, we could subdue Spain. Perhaps even the world. The day when England reigns supreme is near. But our beloved queen thinks of Amrita as nothing more than gold or gemstones. We must find them before our nation's rivals do. Edward Kelly, you will go to Japan. It seems it would be to our advantage to keep the wars alive. We cannot gain Amrita if blood does not flow. Okay. Hi! Who are you? Nope. I recognize that thought voice. And I think whoever that was just pissed off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wasn't oh. expecting that to happen. I don't think we're see a brawl in one of the games like these. Okay, so going all the way up is the way to more story, I'm guessing. Okay. There we go. Typical block and counter attack. It, it costs them a lot of stamina in advancement. In, 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 yeah, in investment. And it leaves them wide open. Oh, hello. Battle axe, okay. <laughs> I accidentally found the emotes. Oh no. Familiarity, okay. Battle axe, a lot more damage. Enemies defeated damage bonus? The heck does that mean? Attack multiplier, chance to attack body, stamina. And I hear footsteps, so I should step out of this. Okay, how do I switch between these then? Oh, dude. That, that's gonna be a damn heavy weapon. Yeah. 
Even though there's probably less metal in that heads than there was in the freaking bastard sword. A spear. I did the same amount, just all focused in one area. Let's see. Yeah, a pole arm. Special break plus 11. No, not that name. Better at parrying than this. Actually, that. Uh, wrong. It's... Fun fact. I learned about that weapon recently from uh, Skellagrim. And. No? Easy thing. The way you apparently pronounce that word is the same word in, in Scandinavia for masturbation. <laughs> well, uh, all spears do share at least a similarity to a. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't expect that with weapon Hello again. Oh. Okay. Now, how do I swap between weapons? And look in there again. Hmm. Oh. Okay, no entrance to whatever that room is, but let's be on no gloves. Let's be honest. If we went in there now we'd probably get our ass completely kicked. Okay, full set now. Nope. We're missing the hat. I don't think there is a hat because there's only... Oh, yeah, there is head armor. Okay. From what I thought, there wouldn't be head armor for some reason. But, yeah, it, it's... We're going to Japan. Of course, we're going to get freaking samurai helmets. <laughs> there's the hat. Thank you! No question is very tricky guard now. Uh, I very much doubt that. The the Queen's Guard are an elite. So they'll probably recognize each other. Noise downstairs. I really should I really should see if I can get that door swapped with something a lot more soundproof. Because it's it's basically a it's basically a sheet of opaque glass. Someone had the bright idea to put to swap all the doors with glass. Wait, no door to swap. Yeah. What? It's not easily shattered glass, of course, but it's still gl uh, glass. Still, rather stupid, I feel like. But and this is the other side of that door. door. What about if all the small blood window? Fine, but... It's entirely made of glass. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, hello there. Wait, did these guys respawn? Oh, sure? well, I'll take another sword. Oh, I see. If you pray at the, those stations, enemies will respawn. Actually, no, that isn't the case with Dark Souls, I think. If... Hmm. When the Dark Souls will respawn after each time you die. Yeah, not when you save at one of the stations. At, at least we don't seem to be losing stuff. And is that a same one or? Seems to be better. Okay, it's a level two one. At the very least, we don't seem to be having any currency that we're losing when we're dying. Lucky enough. Oh. Hello there. Ah! 
Weakling. Well, I fell for that completely, and uh, hello there. Don't mind if I just snack on something. Our weapon is actually getting drenched with blood. That's a nice little detail. And better boots, I'm guessing. And not really better, but... It does have extra stats. Okay. So we're getting a bit Diablo-like with maybe randomized stats. Hmm. I'm sure. We have a crossbow, so we have to rush you. Gloves, another sword. Are any of these... Yes, they are. Hmm. Okay. I know that in Dark Souls you had you could spend currency to upgrade armor pieces. But again, so far that doesn't seem either we're not getting a currency yet, or it's not in the game. Which puts a lot less if it's if there's no currency for us to lose, then it would put a lot less of a strain on us for getting defeated. not going that way we're not going to that way we're not facing two guys in full plate yeah probably. can we sneak up on this guy and maybe get some sort of backstab if i can have better armor now he's wearing the same as we are all right Okay, there was someone else patrolling. There they are. Let's see if we can sneak up. Getting an odd bit of uh, Eastern music on the. Ooh, not going that way either. I'm going to guess that this is not locked. Okay. And yeah, we have safe station. We want that. Okay, we we are at the 30 minutes though. We could go for 10 more since we ended the first game early. Just to see what else there is to offer. Yeah, though I wouldn't be surprised if there's a long cop scenes or something like in this game. Yeah. Well, it, it's 30 minutes isn't a hard limit, so let's just look around. There's a guy in armor up there. There's an unlucky soul. Oh, we found the torture room. How lovely. Okay. Some sort of echoes of their last thoughts. Striking when the opponent is down and helpless. That's what they're trying to do to all of us who fought for Queen and Country. Okay, new technique learned. Though honestly, stabbing someone when they're on the ground, that shouldn't really be a technique that someone would need to learn. Okay, we did get... We are getting... Actually, I think we 
do have a currency that we are losing in experience because we have we our health has gone up so i'm guessing we we level up somewhere or is one of this giving us extra health yeah oh, plus 24 life plus 10 okay so it is from the equipment not from levels or something now let's try our hand on this guy Bad idea to attack when they're blocking. Let them overextend. And then retreat. Okay, he was uh, embodying the, the basic <laughs> strategy of uh, Dark Souls there for a moment. And I'll take those. Thank you very much. Okay, so we can take these guys on. But they are, they are pretty tough. And another one of those. Again, what button would it be to switch between? Let's see. That. Learn skills, skill customization, status, titles, and read the memories. And system controls. Let's see, what is the switch button? The switch item, switch stance, strong, interact, dodge, typical stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing a switch button, a switch weapon button. So why even give the opportunity for that then? Let's see, stance, strong attack, quick attack. a lot of types of controls for this. Hmm. Okay. Now we have the goods. Let's go save here. back and then we have this guy over there hello better boots it's a good thing that we fought that guy because there was a pretty big defense boost that we got from his pants <laughs> <laughs> Can get the rest of the from the other two. Okay. Story wants us to go that way, so we're heading back and taking the stairs up. I do wonder if the stuff that the enemies drop is set or if it's randomized. So if we were to kill that guy again, would he drop his pants again? Oh, good thing we checked. Okay, that would have gotten us the, the literal drop on that guy. Oh, uh, hello. I was wanting to get the drop on you in a different way, but okay. Leave enough energy to retreat. Uh, let's just be cheeky, motherfucker. Yeah, overextend. And ends. Okay, medicine, but no new stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to guess that this is going to lead to our escape, whatever is going to happen up here. Oh, a boss fight is what's going to happen here. Derek the Executioner. Okay, then. 
base charge attack. Oh, you're not actually that stuff. And again, he's the first boss. The knights are was actually tougher than you. Oh, yeah, come on. Okay, he got up quick. Got big. Okay, he's <laughs> he's a glass cannon. Okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, bonus all the time. And this time, let's see if we can get that guy from above. Yeah, okay, yeah, actually, there's a lot of... Yeah. Okay, that yeah, did okay. a lot of damage. He's, he's been uh, lagging is on my end due to uh, that network. Yeah, OBS is saying that this game is running at 60 FPS. It's putting a bit of a draw on my CPU, but it's not maxing it out. Okay, Derek. Let's uh, take your derriere. I overextended there, so that was my bad. There we go, now give me that axe. <laughs> Oh, I, it's you. Ah, it's Edward you. Kelly, was it? The man with the guardian spirit. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. for your execution. Okay, yeah, he's looks a lot tougher now. And now he has a purple bar. <laughs> Ow, man. Well, we got off the must have decapitated there. Hmm. Okay, but we are at our 40 minutes with this game now. Yep. Hmm. I'm going to say that this game will be a, a strong maybe, because yeah. uh, it, a, a good part of it would de would be determined if uh, by how much I suck at this game or not. Yeah. So I would literally have to get good for it to not take too long. But then again, I think that's half the point with these games, is to just uh, slowly improve, uh, trial and error, etc, etc. Okay. Yep. Even though some people apparently hate that. They want to be good instantly. Yeah, okay, let's see. Can I... Okay, it's not showing up normally, so I'll have to share it to you like this. And yeah, on to the next game. It's a uh, remnant hostile groups of the war are vanquished and for 90 years peace for law actually remains. But then a madman, Darkinicus Damnation, decided to disturb the tranquility with his army of grinning darns. Attacked again, citizens getting bored. He attempted to overthrow society multiple times, but each time the peacekeeper's progeny was there, uh, progeny was there and stuff. That hero was Noitu Love. With the help of his co-worker Lori, he would always bring an end to every threat. Noitu gets awards, lucky. In 2188, after an attempt to turn all the world's people into monkeys using bound and dangerous uh, technology called Devomatics, Darnicus would finally meet his demise by the hands of Noitu. Noitu. Using the Evomatics, Noitu could assume many forms, like an ape or a man with a further developed mind. Darnicus gone. Man shrugs to make point of his confusion. Though Darnacus's body was never found in the aftermath, he was never seen or heard of again. 
Dapalori, a cyborg decoy made by Donicus in Lori's image, was taken into custody and eventually turned off and put away. Hot bot got caught. <laughs> After that, peace returned and nobody uh, saw back on it. Yeah. This is Noity Love 2 Devolution. Many years later, in the world of 2288, so a, a century later, history would repeat itself in more than one. One way. Should yeah, this is by Konjak, the same person as uh, Iconoclast. And, well, we made it more than clear of how much we liked that game. Yep. No lag this time! Yeah, because this is running in windowed on my end, so I've had to put... I've had to max it out... I... I I had to use the window capture feature this time of OBS. And on my well, end, it's a, a box about this size. Well, apparently that fixed the... And that's loud. Okay, dropping that by six decibels. Okay. Yeah, this game could be considered the sort of prequel for Iconoclast. Uh, not that they're actually related or anything. It's just that this game was made before Iconoclast. And let's get rid of, let's get out of that music. Yeah, okay. start. If you're playing hmm? games in Windows mode, removes the lag on my end. That's progress. That means there's something. I'm more merciful for my broadband to handle. Okay. So there's some kind of grinning horror of robots appears to be attacking the city. Report the base so we can determine the severity of this potential threat. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> okay, it's quite the start. I'm a little my volume. I want to say. The main character looks familiar. They look a bit like uh, missing her name for a sec. Oh, hello there. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a that same haircut as one of the slightly new horror characters they have with you. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm completely blanking on her, on her name, but the, the pirates. Yeah, I'm blanking on her name as well. You know, they have different skin tone and different clothing, but they do look similar, especially in the hair band department. Okay. okay, we have to destroy those. And we have those bolts for energy, okay. Yep. What was her freaking name again? Like, the Robin was the main character of what you see. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure it was a four letter name. Okay, we can zip forwards. To a certain... Okay, no, we, we can zip forwards on pretty much any range, I'm thinking. Uh, the game is still rather loud on my end. So it should be a lot better for people listening because of the sound limiter. Hopefully the fact that the... It might be a common theme for all the games. But I think like we also have the same problem at the start of Iconic Lock. They always got turn deaf. Oh. I'm starting it. This guy again. Oh dear. Simple cover. To not get shot the hell out. Okay. 
jump. Nope, we have the purple ones. Okay, these are these aren't just cannon fodder. Oh, okay. hello there. Yeah, <laughs> of course. At least that deals for any fire as well. Uh, Did, it, did that just get whacked by a tree? I think so! And... Okay, flying ones. Oh, come on! on. <laughs> Underwater. <laughs> uh oh! Well, now we know we hold up, at least. Are these things are going to keep spawning? Uh, oh. Heimdall. And yes, these things are just going to be freaking Medusa has and constantly spawn. Yeah, the music is the same energetic vibe as Iconic Class has. For most of its part. I think we can go from... Oh, uh, hello and go. Oh, uh, There we go. Oh, let's not fall into whatever that is. Why should there freaking coal in the subway? Burning coals. Burning asphalt? Deal with you quick since we have flamethrowers. But yeah, as is more than obvious, this game is a uh, beat em up. Instead of the uh, light uh, metro. Yeah. Hmm. Instead of the uh, adventure. Yeah, game that uh, the Iconic class was. And these things again. What are those? They're basically flying heads. We can wall jump. Let's just ignore those things. Go. Oh, well, okay, that was a nice little bit of 3D effect there. Mordecai fluke. Okay. Oop. There's a blue bird stick figure drawn on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm getting a bit of uh, out Shantae vibes from this boss because pretty much every fight out with risky boots in Shantae, or at least in most of the Shantae games, his first fight with risky boots, you end up fighting her on a freaking boat as well. Was the captain saluting there as he went down with the ship? What? Oh, oh, hello there. Ah, oh, crap, of all people. Wait a minute, who the hell are you? I can't be bothered, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, that's the doppelganger. Exoda. Okay, so, yeah, we're not playing as this Noidu Law character that, uh, Basically, <laughs> the Mario of this game. The classic work as always. Then again, it's it's been a century. The guy's probably dead. <laughs> but victory is short. That was the cyborg double lorry who just ran past you. She's been turned off for almost 100 years, just after the last Dari Army attack. This is not a problem. All these crazy robots are in fact arms. But they, along with the creator, were vanquished by no two love back then. Masses of them are appearing everywhere at alarming numbers. Mr. Elman, sir? 
What is it, Dr. Tango? The entire South District has turned into a Victorian block or some such. A Victorian block? That's just silly. I can assure you it has happened. And what do we have to stay? Alright, so that we and the other green helmets will go. All of them? Well, this sounds like one hell of a serious matter. It's your decision, sir. Let's go, Zerda. Okay, yeah, since, since this game is called Noit You Love 2, I assume there is a Noit You Love 1 where we probably play as that Noit 2 character. Possibly. And those are some baggy pants. Yeah, or some uh, sick tie thighs. Oh dear. Wait, what was that? A, was that a darn in a, a Hawaiian skirt with a book? <laughs> okay. Large ports of the city have turned to places of the past. It defies all logic. This is no sight of Darnica's damnation, the darn creator. For this, we must assume uh, that Pallori is somehow responsible for these events. We just don't know how. Oh, just. Oh, hell. The heck. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, Castlevania reference. <laughs> Yeah, that's... That's... Well... Yeah, they were quick with that oh. reference. Oops. How could you try this part of this level? Yeah. Like, they, they just they don't, they don't give you a little spot, they just throw right in. Yeah. Yeah, this is a high rate of knowledge instead of control. Yeah. yeah. We probably should have clicked on the tutorial first, but... Yeah, oh, hello there again. Yeah. There was a tutorial. Yeah. There was a tutorial. Freaking smooth animation. Yeah. Okay, I that's gonna be. Anything, but I can't see that they're outside the least now. Yeah. yeah. We should. Nope, use. Okay, that would be one way to start of a level. Okay, uh. I'm going to turn down the volume of this a bit more, even on my end. It's nine decibels lower there. Oh, hello there. Wait. Wait, now we're getting a zombie dance. <laughs> okay, we're just continuing with the Castlevania theme. Uh, oh, they, they, it wasn't that lion's skirt. <laughs> it was priest robes. Whoa. Guillotine, come on. Those were. F yeah, they are just going to keep spawning, aren't they? Okay, let's wait for that thing to go back up again then. Yeah, are you going to go back up? Oh, wait. There. Okay. This looks a lot more Victorian London and not Victorian France. Uh, I think it's so, way. Uh, I'm pretty sure I used to French the word uh, using the yeah, UV a lot. Yeah, not the, not the English. And Cyprus. <laughs> This game, it, this game is a 
did a hard yes, I would say. Great. Uh, okay, so we saw this pop up. Uh, with the right mouse, we can put down a shield. Okay. Okay. Can we kill Steve? Yeah, and we can cause them to kill themselves with that. It... So, we sort of went from one tower of London to another, huh? It's the only one! Yeah. Let, let's go with that. Yep. Ow. Oh, uh, hello there. That's a big darn. It's a darn big darn, huh? Oh, you let yourself open for that one. one. Yep. Oh, to Charlie. Uh, hello. Um. <laughs> the heck? Yep. <laughs> Good man. Uh. Spear attack. Yep. Well, it's not bad. Oh, that looks kind of good. Wheel. <laughs> okay. And it's the wheel again. Not too late on that. Swords. What is it with my health? Oh, yeah. Our health is the energy up there. Swords yeah, again. So I wasn't sure first. Oh. Yeah, it isn't obvious when you take damage. Not too late. Wheel again. <laughs> oh, and now we're getting serious. That doesn't stop that attack. Well, I guess it's a shield upon a shield. Can't attack for too long since he gets his shield back, which damages us. Ow. Don't get stuck. We could have ended it there. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh to joy. Ode to joy. This this song, Ode to Joy. <laughs> okay, that was a that was a clever don. Yeah, uh, that is clever. Yeah, I hope I hope this game isn't too short because we might. Now we're getting. Oh, Wait, Doctor Lori is also finding these things. That was her. We had reports she was around here, so it's good we yeah <clears throat> we have you close by. But why is was she attacking those dons? So if it's if it says that we can just rush keep rushing past. Uh, hello there, the samurai citizen. <laughs> Actually, samurai weren't citizen. Oh, hello! Look who it what look who it is who was recycled for Econoclasts. Uh, I, I still have to say it was fr pretty freaking funny for it, you know, it, it to just completely can't block us with <laughs> just <laughs> revealing nothing about uh, the Silver Samurai or whatever his name was. Oh, the Silver War, do you think? I, yeah, I think that was. Come on, Geisha Plots! 
Okay, we'll have to end it off to this level though, since we're near in time. Already? Yeah. That's very quick. But I know that this is a, this one looks very smooth for Yeah, I feel like it. It's gonna feel like it. every time you straight me through the method you're using now, it works best. Yeah, we'll we'll have to test it out next time we start. Uh, yeah, well, it's saying I have bad internet, but I'm not lagging now. Because well, it is an improvement for the four. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a pretty big Shante vibe of this game as well, but only if, if Shante were a beat em up. Just the, all of the quirky stuff and such. Am I being inspired by Shante? <laughs> It could have, it could have been a, an influence, yeah. <laughs> okay, we 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 get that uh, boink sounds oh, when something hits us. Uh, hello, jellyfish. Did you not seem to hold on? Hmm. That's a to what? Hold on. I don't. I doubt Holland will be down in a freaking river like this. Hmm. On that note, with all of, with the whole global warming thing, and rising sea levels, yeah, the, the Netherlands, aka Holland, which actually only describes two provinces, uh, it's at the most danger, or immediate danger, with uh, yeah. Flooding. Okay, avoid those. Yeah, I guess uh, the member must be uh, investing in the higher walls. No, not really to my knowledge at the moment. And again, I think by the 23rd century we'd have moved on to a freaking city on the water by then. Hello, <laughs> fisherman. Hmm. Uh, we're we're getting attacked with bamboo shoots. What the heck? Uh, uh, right, I want to say, you've got uh, to never have become like Venice. Now, Venice is sinking because of its foundations are well, starting to sink away. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, right. more like a. Uh, those sci-fi cit yeah, cities on the water stuff, like we saw in uh, Hydrophobia. And uh, hello, Doppelori. Oh dear. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Depends what resource you have to work with. She is pretty telling with her attacks, and we keep falling for them. Okay, yeah, she's, she may be the our first boss we might actually stand a chance to lose against. Okay, got that. Oh, she followed up. Okay, smart one. I don't want to get to know a bit about our character a bit for... Yeah, who the heck are we? I'm guessing we are some sort of cyborg as well, perhaps, and uh, hello, someone's brother is coming for revenge. Well, either that or the, uh, the send-up of uh, the original hero. <laughs> okay, uh, hold. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, no, it's him again. Uh, that low is actually helping us. Okay. What are those? Question. <laughs> we, we know what we are then. Uh, that's going. Oh, that's going to throw us right back to the start. Uh, no, actually, checkpoints. Okay. Hmm. Let's give this another shot then. 
I forgot about wall jump for a moment. Okay, let's keep going because there is no need to fight all of these, except maybe for points. Okay, low again, Lori. Reload double Lori. <laughs> We are good at closing the distance, but we don't have much options for getting away again. Actually, pretty tough. Ow. Here they come again. Okay, now how are we supposed to fight here? We need to stay out of the water, but we also need to keep walking on this thing. Are you going to be the damage dealer here, Lori? Or Lori? Apparently she's not because she got dipped in the fucking water. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to use shields to block the damage. No, I forgot about that thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with this thing. is doing that. Ow. Okay, speeding up. Ow, ow. Now, how do we get rid of those things? Uh, they seem to be draining us. Okay, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> This game is on the two stream list. <laughs> I, ju I just hope it isn't too short. I get the feeling it's, it might be a bit of a short game. Hmm. Okay, it's taking a moment to close down. Turn that off. And then we're going to the last game on the list today. One that is also certainly a two-stream, eventually. <laughs> Share to Jukir. I should probably fix the, well, the <clears throat> resolution of this game at some point. And yeah, it's odd world. Uh, dopey little Abe. And yeah, I've played this game before, as you can see here, and... Okay, for some reason my camera is running... S having lag. Give me a second to check on that. Even your voice lagged a bit there. Hmm. Let's see. 
seems standard here. Let's check that. The stats are all the same. Maybe the game is draining a bit too much. Let's see. Yeah, that's odd. There will. It's not actually. It's it's drawing a lot from the GPU. Maybe that's it. Seems better now, still some. Oh, yeah. we should not have touched that. Okay, that is weird as all hell. And again, this is probably one of the most recent games that we've streamed. And this way it looks a bit like the original. With the graphics so low. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, yeah. A brawl uh, not A World. <laughs> Odd World New and Tasty. Which is the remake of the original Apes Odyssey. Back on the first PlayStation. That's you. Yeah. For players who'd rather enjoy the scenery than the arch bullets and teeth, a gentle introduction to Oddworld. Our recommended choice, challenging but fair, the way nature intended, nothing to taxing, and you'll be needing those checkpoints. And then we have hard. For the Mudarkans who've already completed the Odyssey, this mode's for you. Sure shot slags, deadly creatures, lethal traps, and classic health. It's basically <laughs> pretty much instant death. Let's go for normal. And Go up, take turns as Abe, grab a controller each, and when Abe bites the dust, the other player takes over. Okay, that's not really usually how co-op goes, but okay. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah, that, that's more like just hand over the controller to the other person. Let's see, double is run, jump, crouch, uh, aim throw, drop throw. Okay. I think this next year, the other game, the newest the eight game, will be on Steam as well, I think. Yeah, Soulstorm. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. me. My name is Abe. I was Employee of the Year. Now I'm dead meat. I crossed the meanest boss of the world. Mullet the Gluckin. My whole life changed in just one day. I was working late one night at Rupture Farms. We used to make beach munchies. Until the beaches were through. We still made pyramid pies. And we made some good scrap cakes, too. I thought I had a good job, but that was before I knew how we'd make new and tasty. I was still to find. The truth 
It turned out. Now that would blow my mind. The Gluckins were scared because profits were grim. Paramites and scrabs had been turning up thin. Watch. But Mullet was cool. Alright, but he had a plan. <laughs> this new kind of meat? Uh, it was us! to escape. I just had to be free. But I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here! Shift we run. Uh, ah, there's a little secret here, I think, if I'm correct. There's a. Is that a hatch? That's. Let's see, I forget what the controls for that are supposed to be, but. If I'm correct, this hatch here leads to a secret area. Yes, a secret right at the start, huh? <laughs> and yeah, welcome to Odd World. Where the Mudakins are enslaved, the Sligs are the enforcers, and the Glockens, you know, they're the assholes. Extremely Yep. Uh, what button is the Ganter Ganter needs to... Uh, jump is... can also be done with W. Uh, Oh wait, press E. Like I, I, I yeah, that was me just being blind. But yeah, I like how the game actually puts tutorials in the environment like that. No talking to fellow employees. Let's see, directory. Rupture farms. Yeah, it's a map. There's 70 in the Zulog 1, and there's 299 total other employees. Uh, employees between quotation marks. Yeah, this looks really rough at the ma minimum settings. Let me actually see if I can up them a bit more. Because if that is actually... Let's turn off full screen. Full screen seems to really work as well when it comes to s the stuff like this. For some reason. I don't actually know why I'm... Oh, come on, the camera is still lagging for some reason. Wait, the hell? Oh, I see why. Apparently, something had failed to turn off when I turned it turn off before the stream. So that was draining a bunch of resources as well. But that been the, the lag I've been seeing then? Could be, uh... But I've been having some lagged visuals for a while now. The only thing that is looking a damn lag best has been most episodes of Slime Rancher and the last game before uh, Abe here. It's a bit lower. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, this should be okay, I think. Just one step above the quick save without a C. Okay. 
we, of course, we don't want to end up <laughs> down there with the mines. And yeah, those are our checkpoints. Let's throw the sneak. This <laughs> just that <laughs> the squeaking sound. So there should be another way to get rid of this guy. Let's see. Which was it again? Not a clue. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to show. Our health, perhaps. Uh, yeah, I have to say the thought of meat pies and such, uh, that doesn't seem very appetizing to me. And again, we don't... Yeah, I don't think we really have any meat pie things over here in the Netherlands. You mean you've never eaten chicken pie and taco pie? Nope. Oh, and yeah, that's the case of uh, looking a bit ahead <laughs> of what is... That's what is one. Yeah. You were quite a York there. Nope. Oh, yeah. I, I eaten taco pie and chicken pie. And those were both the first pies I actually liked. Our those are not like when you eat pies made of meat, they're not dessert. They are basically meat. They don't put whipped cream or anything on them. Just eat them as they are. What were the controls again? But yeah, I can recommend you chicken pie and taco pie, but they're not bad. Okay. Uh, keyword layout. Where it, there it is. Tab for some reason. Okay. Because yeah, there is a trick that Abe has that's really not explained. He can do this and then. Hello. We can take control. And boom. This trick won't work always, though. And yeah, let's not take it, use that this time. Okay, now we know that that slag is up ahead. Uh, actually, hello, hello, follow me. Okay. Okay. And they will ape us. They will ape ape. Aid? I think you mean? Yeah, ape, Abe. Man, these hours are terrible. And that's how we get them to escape. And that noise never gets old. Excuse me again for a moment to up the volume back a bit. It's a very pleasant sound. Yeah. And there we go. Fling deeper into the grinding lines than ever before. That... Okay, that went a bit too quick. Yeah, I still have some lag, but not as severe as before. Okay, let's see. Say hello and talk to Mudakans using GameSpeak buttons. Experiment. Hi. Hello. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hello. Yeah, you, hello. This is one of the few games you could Hi. use voice hello. in the remake, I think. If you've got a mic and such, but I'm sure how many people used it. Let's see. Are the others going to come running? No, they're not. Okay. Uh, let's have a little... No, let's have a double check here. There should be an... Hey all or something. Ah, uh, there. Left button. Okay. Or left arrow. Hey, chum. Hey. Hey there. Oh, hey. Follow me. Okay. Yeah, and we send those off as well. And let's see what this has. It's the map again. And yeah, we're up there in the zoo lag. Yeah, I don't think changing one letter makes it any less of a gulag. What? Oh, ah, yeah, these things. If we try to chant here... That happens. So instead, we'll just have to find other ways to get rid of the slag. And while we saw what happened before... Uh, I just, I just love the thunk that it gives when something lands. 
Oh, yeah. Follow me. Okay. Oh, I can hear a slig up ahead. Lead my darkness to board portals, yeah. Okay, something about battle caps. Practice your throwing with an unlimited supply of bubble caps. Yeah, we can throw with F. And we can aim like that. Uh, what do we press to... Oh, there we go. E. I don't know where I actually get hey, those things Joe. from. Hey, yeah, slicks aren't the brightest. <laughs> okay, board portal over there. And send you off as well. And moving on. Yeah, this will get a lot harder as we go. The smell of searing flesh was nothing like the sweet, familiar aroma. Get it? Oh. Yeah, I think we get introduced to something that... Actually... Oh yeah, I think this was in the original as well. Take cover. Stand in front of tall cover with crouch with C in front of low cover. Yeah, they can shoot at us from the background. Like that. And yeah, we'd rather not get filled with holes. And we can get rid of this guy. Like this. Mm. <laughs> the, 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 the thunk. Okay, you come along. And wait here. Okay. Yeah, and you're the only one with feather I see here. Yeah. Sneak to steam vents with left control. Slays can hear you moving even when you're hidden. Yeah, oh, one fact, people. That thing, the ponytail uh, that you have is not hair, it's actually feathers. Yeah. It's it's so Things on Odd World are, well, odds. It's where. Mammalians like Abe have feathers for some reason. Oh, no, he's not mammalian. Hmm. They, they, they have confirmed that they evolved from birds. Okay. So, no, not mammalian. Uh, ah, there's the slig. And that means yes, but darkness are born from Abe. There's a, a latch down there, or. Uh, would that be a latch? There's I something there that we can dump the the slig with, and yeah, even with those even with those goggles, they're as blind as bats. Yep. I can't remember. I think I only can remember one mammalian being at the moment. And that is. Is I think what it's called. Steam? Something. Basically, lion centaur. Okay. Which are in, they appear in range as well. But yeah, I don't think that many animals in all the world. I think. I could be wrong though. Uh, in Strangers Ross there's a bunch of smaller mammals, I think. And you were a bit late to the point. I know there's a sort of salmon people, chicken people. Yeah, the chickens are very obvious. Now, I didn't see the mud duck and that was over here. Oh, well. Ah, uh, yeah, the bombs. These things have been a pain in people's ass for a long ass time. You activate bombs with E when the light blinks green. You can reactivate bombs with E. So, yeah, we just sit next to it. And then... <laughs> I was going to say deactivate it, but no. It like just when you blew yourself up, I missed that part. There we go. Okay, what have we here? Ah, yeah, we have the scraps. 
We'll be seeing more of these things later on, and I don't really see how they get from that spindly little thing to that big block of ribs. Yeah, what is this? Well, everybody, hello, hello, follow me. Okay. Okay, follow along, eggheads. There should be a portal here somewhere. Run right. Okay, it's grab cakes. Okay, that sounds a bit disgusting. You're trying to uh, move into cakes. Yeah. Meat pie is fine, but meat cakes? That sounds a bit more. Not good mix. Yeah, let's see if they can get this jump as well. No, they can't. Okay. Uh, hold on. Wasn't there a portal back here? Yes. Oh. Yeah, there are, there are some cakes with meat that's good, but they're not really like that kind of cake we saw on the picture. They're like giant pancakes with meat in them. Okay. I, kn I know the British uh, often have meat pies. I've, I've been wanting to try some of those, but I never actually have. And what does this do? It turns it off. I can recommend you to try uh, uh, oven cake with uh, with bacon or sausage. It's, I think it's... Well, well, I think it seems to me that you're sky pudding. And two in whole. So, in the past we just have a bit more hmm. simplified name. This. Yeah, because I'm using the term uh, oven cake, we just probably say oomph and kaka. There, you guys just explode into bits. Yeah, Odd World is not a nice place. Yeah. It has a lot of interesting lore. There's some, uh, some few lore channels, especially one. Yeah. There we go. Grinding area. Yeah, safety hazards. Uh, what are those? Yeah, for the Glockens, it's just more meat in the vein. Slicko security beating quotas at rupture farms. Yeah, literally beating. Slick security to escort Mr. Rice to the stockyards. Hmm. Get your Elm Chub on all the world's finest lunchbox loop. Address all complaints to your nearest meat grinder. Uh. Okay, yeah, we have to be careful with, uh, uh, with the falling bits. Okay. 15 escapees so far, 284 to go. Hello? You said you read the or see a lot of lore of these these games. I uh, I think so. I forget the name of the channel that I have been watching all of that on. They yeah, I don't uh, think they've up I don't think they've uploaded in a bit. Yeah, but I know that uh, at least two not by now. It was using mostly one, but a new one sort of arrives with the upcoming and uh, well did already arrive the uh, new game. So. Yeah, they, 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 there's a lot of interesting lore. Hey, Chum. Hi, hello. Oh, yeah, there's also that guy on the right. Follow me. Okay. Yeah, we have to escort these idiots as well. And there's something dripping down from there. Oop. Better head this way for a bit. Wait. Yeah. Wait here. Uh, what does this... That's... What does this do? Oh, that does that. Yeah, be careful. Okay. Let's we don't have anywhere to hide to possess that guy. So instead, what we can do is reactivate that. On the wrong end of the, of the damn thing. Sort of. Then... <laughs> yeah, Abe's no action hero. Abe needs to uh, use trickery to get around. And there's the portal. 
Don't ask me why the slicks don't just chase those things away. Yeah. Those birds we just That's the closest genetic relative. Okay. Okay. I guess you could say the, the bird she summons and the, the monogus share the same ancestor, basically. Probably. I don't remember right. There is this thing here. What does this do? It's an elevator, of course, but where does it bring us? And is this a point of no return or not? Furnace and grind is still hot in his hype. Yeah, seriously, if you're going to put text on your uh, loading screens, give the option to have it stop. Okay, and we can go back. Yeah, and then again, you probably have a very strong computer to begin with to shorten loading screen quite a lot. Yeah. Making sure that the timer is up front here, because we are nearing the 30 minutes. Hop to it, jumbo standing for control. Hmm. Yeah, but not strong enough for it to run at max graphics and still stream well. Let's not let <laughs> first into a freaking grinder. And let's check out what is here in the last five minutes or so. The train's taken elsewhere, but back will be... <laughs> okay, is that going to be a point of no return then? Let's check. Yeah, if we were to stream this fully, we would probably start afresh to make sure we lose no more Duncan. Yeah, that was... Okay, there's no... It's not a point of no return. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the whole point. Ex unless we're continuing something on Saturday or another Sunday, uh, we 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 start anew with uh, every game of this that we will go into a full midweek stream. Okay, there was just a single jock and hidden away. Good thing that we still checked. Just gotta say that. This, this game just looks amazing, huh? It does. And yeah, when we get when we stream this game, we are of course going to follow it up uh, with Soul Storm, which is the remake of uh, Apes Exodus. Yeah. And I have oh, I've one. been avoiding spoilers as much as I can, but I do I did get one spoiler. I've seen some of the gameplay of it, not some story, but not much, uh, too much of it due to got distracted by other things. Yeah. And um, another fun fact about Abe, the original art was meant for him to be more straight up, uh, more straight walking, a bit more serious, and also have raptor claws on his feet. I'm glad they removed the Raptor Claw, or otherwise you would wonder, why doesn't he just kick them to death? Yeah. See, happy early retirement, Wildem. You deserve it. I very much doubt that the retirement here means much that people want. Packing meat in your pants is strictly prohibited. Sponsored landmine trails now in operation. The clogging required in Paramite Shoot 3 through 7. Yeah. Oh. Can't possess. And, okay, we... The big orange ones, those are scraps, and, well, in the circular cage that's phasing through the <laughs> cage, that's a Paramite. Okay, let's not wake up the Sleek. Possible. You just told us where they are while, yeah, look at the stats on the view. Yeah. I think the, the view is just the explanation there, right off. I gotta say that for as uh, 
As evil as the Sleeks are, I still like them just for how dumb they are. Uh, and the boom machine. Yeah, go ahead. There are actually another plans to do a game called uh, uh, Slick Storm. Yeah. Sadly, it didn't come about, but it was about uh, a albino slig that I think went on rebellion. Yeah. That's I what I heard it. of this game as well. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be going in, but I don't remember. It was a while. We can't stop the lift at any point. Oh. Let's not fall down, yeah? And <laughs> apparently Abe just pulls the pin the moment he grabs it. <laughs> nice going, dumbass. Okay. Uh, let's continue at least pause this point and then we'll end it. Uh, yeah, this game is obviously a lot less action-packed. It... Than some of the others that we've done. Well, a bit more less combat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, this time. More of a different kind of action in this one. <laughs> okay, I did not expect it to bounce that much. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> how did we survive that? There is falling damage in this game. If you fall from too high a uh, place, you will just... <laughs> you will just get smashed into the ground, but... Glitch found, I guess? Uh, yeah, possibly. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I, I was fully expecting to die there and just have end the stream there. <laughs> okay. Also a little... A lesser known fact about this game, uh, you can see now that uh, Abe has four fingers on his hand. Uh, in a lot of the releases, except uh, in most of the releases except for the original one, they actually removed the fourth finger because, well, Japan has this thing oh, about the number four. Abe just never has any luck, does he? Well, a mix of bad and good luck, but he's still alive. Yeah. Oh, we... Okay, I've forgotten about that. Once you get to past the point of no return, every Mudokan that you didn't save, uh, well, you can see in the casualties list over there. We missed 49. Uh, yeah, that's... Okay, I might have oh, to keep a bit of a list at the at hand just to keep make sure that I don't get past any points of no return. Yeah, and for people that don't know, if you see every single Madokian, you get a good ending. Yeah, I think it's more if you if you save the majority, like two hundred or so. Yeah. If you save too few, then you get the bad ending. Not sure if there's a golden ending. If it is three. Bad one if you see too few. The perfect one if you see all of them. And that's the middle one that is just in still good ending, but a bit more neutral. Hmm. Okay. If I uh, recall yeah. right, that is. We'll just have to see how it, it is the GPU that is drawing a lot from 80 to 90 percent. Hmm. Hopefully by the time that I will get to streaming this game and Soulstorm, which is probably even more intensive, hopefully by then I'll have upgraded to a better graphics card. At the moment I have an RTX 2070 Super, but I am looking to get a, uh, a, a 3000 series uh, graphics card. Though, yeah, with the whole Bitcoin thing and crypto farming and stuff, those, yeah, people have been buying those up and scalping them for thousands of dollars and well euros as well but 
To my knowledge, the crypto market is starting to crash in on itself a bit, so hopefully that'll drop the prices back down to more reasonable things. Hmm. Uh, yeah. For now, I think I'll let Abe say it. Goodbye. <laughs> thank you all for watching, be it now or later, and thank you especially, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, next week we're getting started with Darksiders. And yeah, we'll still have to find some points to shove Orcs Must Die 3 in. Yeah. Perhaps at the end of that, but by then we'll probably be into the next year. Yeah, but hopefully by that time it should be fully stable. I was yeah, able to play a little bit recently on it. Or may maybe we could shove it in on Saturday once we're done with Slam Rancher. Could work too. Okay. But it's not uh, a long game either. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no problem. Uh, but for now, as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks.